I'm joined now by Colonel Domenico Antonacci, who is here with the Italian Air Force Space General Office. Thank you so much for joining us. The relationship between Italy and Axiom Space goes so far. We've been partners for a long time. Telesilenia Space is building our shells for the Axiom Station modules. Tell me a little bit about why this mission is happening now and what you're looking forward to in the success. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, very nice to be here. Uh, the uh, paradigm has changed. The reason for what we ask as the space today is not the same uh, that was in the past. Uh, as a, a Ministry of Defense in Italy, and especially the Italian Air Force, uh, more than 15 years ago, uh, we started to uh, take care of what is the human space flight, especially uh, uh, the, we had the Italian Air Force involved in what is the research in space. Uh, so uh, this process comes back from so a long time, and uh, after that, a few years later, we did an agreement with the Italian uh, Space Agency, and uh, it was at that point that we were looking to, after the uh, 2011, with the Space Shuttle retirement, mm. we were looking at what was the future. So the ideas we had back at that time proved to be uh, really, really uh, innovative today. That's great that you're taking advantage of these opportunities. What are the goals for space right now? What are the Italian goals in space? The Italian goals, the uh, Ministry of Defense or the Air Force are the same as the government goals. Uh, what we do, we not only are looking at the research part, that for sure is one of our priority, as you know, uh, extreme mission as uh, a big part of the experiments are broke mm -hmm. by uh, Italy. Uh, also, what we are trying to do here is to having uh, the uh, defense uh, in this particular case uh, leading uh, not only the enterprises in Italy to give them an opportunity mm -hmm. to uh, be part of the space economy, but also uh, other uh, government organization. So with us, for example, the uh, Italian Space Agency is uh, our big part uh, partner for research, and not only that, also very, very uh, small business and uh, the largest business we have in Italy. Research and the portfolio that, the research portfolio that the Italians are doing that Walter is focused on for this mission is so impressive. What does it mean for the research com community to have that kind of focus during this 14-day mission? You know, it's not easy uh, to take research to space, so we are really proud to give the opportunity uh, to a uh, uh, um, big part of Italy, not only, like I said, uh, uh, not only the enterprises, uh, and it's not only, in this case, the Ministry of Defense. Walter, for sure, is an Italian Air Force guy, so he's in the Ministry of Defense. With us, uh, a lot of other government agencies have been working uh, with us. Uh, all together for the research uh, with, uh, that Walter will be executing in the next day. Uh, let me mention uh, yes. a few of those, the uh, principles uh, uh, that uh, work with us. For example, the Ministry of Agriculture and uh, the uh, uh, Food Sovereignty and uh, Forestry, also the Ministry of Enterprises and uh, Made in Italy was part uh, uh, among our partnerships. And like I said, also for the research part, we have been uh, working close together with the Italian Space Agency. That's wonderful. And he, you know, Walter brings that, that focus of a pilot now to the research that he's going to be doing in low Earth orbit. Congratulations on this milestone in, in your history, celebrating the years of the Italian Air Force. This is an exciting time. Thank you for being here. Thank you to the entire Italian contingent for celebrating with us. Just a couple of moments, we'll, we'll be really celebrating. Thank you. And uh, go Walter and go X3.